Hey, hey, what's going on fellow music makers? My name's Patrick. Welcome to episode two of Behind the Groove, a songwriting and beat making series where I build a track from the ground up and hopefully give you some ideas, tips, and tricks for your own music making process. Today's episode is brought to you by Writer's Block because I've been, I've been dealing with that a little bit. For those of you who don't know, I've got a new single out. Hey, how about that? Not bad. So obviously dealing with the release, I haven't had as much time to spend on my normal to-dos like songwriting. And even when taking just a few weeks off, you still gotta dust off the cobwebs and get back into it. One of the things that I find always works is just Learn something new, learn a new song, listen to a song that you really like and try to recreate some of the elements of that song and just get back to having fun. I know that when I'm making my best music, it all comes from a place where I'm just really enjoying the creative process. So my ideas for today are kind of inspired by a couple of different things, one of which being the Todd Pritchard school of neo soul guitar. Like most of you, I'm sure I've been following Todd Pritchard for a long time and I love just watching his videos and learning from him. He's got such great technique, such an interesting approach to the guitar. So when I need some fresh guitar ideas, he's one of the first places I go. On the production side of things, Bruno Mars just swept the Grammys. Like most of you, I love 24 Karat Magic. I think it's an awesome record. And I love some of those 80s and 90s sounds that he's using on that record, so I thought it would be fun to incorporate some of those into today's production. So we'll see how we do. But enough talking, let's hop in and see what we come up with. So here's a quick little tip regarding hi-hats if you're trying to give them more of a human feel. If we open up our piano roll and we select our hi-hats, taking a look at this MIDI data for the part that I just played, you can see a lot of variation in velocity. If you select one of these notes over here, you can see the velocity readout. And you can obviously edit all of this, but I kind of like that it varies in velocity. It makes it feel like there's an actual drummer playing the part. So if you're somebody who's drawing in your MIDI parts, or maybe your keyboard just doesn't have the best velocity response, going in and playing with the velocity is something that you might want to tweak. You can also select all of these MIDI notes and go into functions and set a random velocity for the entire section, so each note will be a different velocity. Sometimes it works out, other times it doesn't. I personally just like playing the part, but if I were to draw something in, I think I would go and manually edit the velocity of each note. All right, so I got this idea for this kind of tranquil, dreamy little B section. I got this effect on my guitar right now with the Roto vibe. It's kind of like a little Leslie sort of effect. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna really trip this out in the production, but let's put the part down. All right, so we got some basic ideas down, kind of a general vibe for the track. I'm gonna map some things out, do a little production, so let's cue the cinematics. Check this out. guys i hope you enjoyed that i had a lot of fun making it please be sure to say what's up in the comment section below let me know if you are enjoying the series and if you haven't checked it out 
my new single, The Waters Is Out. Show some love, you can get it wherever you listen to your music. I got links in the description below. Add me to your Spotify playlist. Tell your friends about your boy. Say what's up. Say hey, have you have you met my friend Patrick? He's he's lovely. I hope I hope that's what you would say to your friends. But anyway, check the song out. I really appreciate it, guys. Appreciate all the feedback you guys are giving me. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to this new and growing channel. Until next time, my name is Patrick, and I'll catch y'all soon. All right, peace.